Welcome to the 2024 Economic Depression and Preparation Channel. Happy Hump Day Wednesday, August the 7th, 2024. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel for the latest interpretation of financial news, and I appreciate your support, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're talking about uh, some good news uh, in this economy so far. We have mortgage rates plunging to the lowest level in 15 months. This is a silver lining in the market storm, according to the Washington Examiner. And so you can see here that mortgage rates have fallen to the lowest level since May 2023. It's down to 6.55%. Now, this is somewhat good news for those of us um, who have waited to, to purchase a house or a condo or a second rental property or, or whatever the case may be. Um, it's you know remember normal this is just normal getting back down to normal mortgage rates that we had back in the early 90s late 80s um, 2000s so this is not all uncommon but for this economy that we're in we're just getting back to a normal mortgage rates here of 6.55 percent it was not uncommon back then but now it is just common so would-be home buyers have faced painful mortgage rates for years now and the downward shift is a silver lining for the flailing housing market. But that's the good news. But like I said, the flip side of that, obviously, is the prices of these homes have doubled in all, almost all 50 states, with the exception of some Midwest states like Kansas and Oklahoma and, and North and some states in the Deep South, maybe like Arkansas and stuff like that. But other than that, most states have experienced a doubling of home prices, entry-level homes I'm talking about, um, and starter homes and entry-level homes that many people need um, to get started in the housing market so but the good news is is that mortgage rates should continue to fall throughout the remainder of this year as you know unless the unless the federal reserve bank comes in and prints and prints up more money and bails out you know banks or something like that but the mortgage rates should continue to come down um, and that should help soften the blow but uh the recession indicator the sign rule was triggered with a three-month moving average unemployment rate rises over 0.5 percentage points over the minimum level hit this year so you can see it has been rising here up to 0.53 um this this rule has been rising up steadily since about uh since about may 2024 about two or three months ago so it's on the rise we're still not out of the woods yet but the good news is like i said is that you know mortgage rates are coming down and cnbc.com um, is reporting that a soft landing quote is still on the table economists say so many economists believe that you know even though we had a weaker jobs report you know we've had an increase in the national unemployment that the uh the soft landing theory is still in play here despite all of that but one thing to keep in mind though ladies and gentlemen is that yes we may have a soft landing but that doesn't mean that the recession is not going to come it's still going to come um, but it's just not going to last as long remember we had the, the brief recession um, back in 2010 2011 after 2008 debacle and that lasted for like a year almost a little bit a little bit over a year um, this recession but still will last for I believe at least two years um, either you know regardless of who gets in the presidency this next recession is gonna last two to three years just by virtue of how much money was already printed up and the state of the economy the no manufacturing is happening in the economy and you know all these conflicts are going on the war around the world and they cost money to uh to maintain in addition to what we have going on in the home front with the infrastructure that's crumbling in a lot of the cities and towns uh in this country so that's what we have going on so the soft landing would mean that the fed charted a path with interest rate policy that tamed inflation quote unquote without triggering an economic downturn downturn the problem is uh, let's say the Fed does tame inflation down to its two percent goal. The problem is they're going to have right into the problem of a high unemployment um, in all sectors of the economy, and that's going to be the problem. Yeah, so you may tame inflation, and people don't have money to buy the stuff now that they need. Technically, it should go into deflation, as you know, but unfortunately, they don't want deflation to happen in this country because that would mean massive price decreases. Uh, that would mean massive uh, profits. Profits won't be as high as they are now for a lot of the big companies, mega companies, multinational companies. And that, so that, that should happen, but it may not happen because we're in an artificial type economy. We've been in that way since 2008. So that's what happened. So now, um, a global recession is not in the prospect. The economist also says that. That would be a relief to investors everywhere. So they're still enticing people to get involved in the markets. Um, to Don't worry about everything. A few down days here and there doesn't mean that the whole stock market is going down to crap. You know, they're not down the crap shoot. But you have to remember that this is a global economy that we're in. We've been in a global economy, trading economy, since uh, 94. And so it doesn't matter if, if, yeah, we may be doing good, but if other countries are doing 
you know, trading with that, trading with us, and that with certain good services are doing bad or they need an adjustment, that's going to weigh down on our exports and our imports and our goods and services too. So you can see here the stock market closed lower on Wednesday as market comeback attempts fizzled out. So we had one day it what was up was down a thousand points. Next day is up 500, 600 points, stuff like that. It's going to be a roller coaster as I told, predicted last week in the other video. It's because the market traders are attempting to try to find where to get defensive or where to put their money at either and get back in liquid and cash, gold and silver, or to uh, go into defensive stocks like discretionary income stocks or, or you know, our defense stocks, stuff like that, security stocks, our AI stocks. They're trying to figure out where to best park their money to ride this thing out until, um, you know, things get better. So Dow Jones average fell 234 points, or 0 0.60 to 38,000. And the NASDAQ composite dropped up 1.40% to close at 1,695 So you can tell the 10-year Treasury yield is also climbing. Uh, the yield curve is also getting ready to invert soon. So stocks close lower on Wednesday. So it's going to be an up and down thing. Don't be surprised if tomorrow it goes up to 300 points. And then Friday it drops 200 points. It's going to be like that for a couple of months, and about for, for this month until we get to the cut, the supposed rate cut next month in September. So let me know what you think. Do you think that the Federal Reserve Bank waited too late to cut interest rates? Um, should they have been cutting earlier, say in January? Or do you think that they're just doing this austerity measures right now because it's election year and they want to make everything look good before the election and then after the election let everything go go to crap and we go into a recession in January uh, 2025? Let me know what you think in the comments, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for some listening. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll talk to you soon on Thursday when the jobs report comes out at 8.30 p.m. 8.30 a.m. Eastern, and then also we can look at some of the manufacturing numbers. So if we see the unemployment rate go up above 4.5%, then you know for sure that we're heading toward a recession, either in the fall or beginning of 2025 for sure. And just now, the question would be how just how deep it is. You know, it's going to be a soft landing, but how deep the recession is going to be and how long it's going to last and all affect all of our lives. So thank you for listening. I'll talk to you very soon in the next video. Take care. God bless.